we are in a country where we don't recycle glass. Apart from the bead makers, my, my colleagues that are producing small, small bead industry, we can't, we cannot, we, we can't, we can't, we can't, we are not able to finish it. We are not able to consume more. So by creating this industry, we can, we can consume more glass. We collect waste glasses, bottles, liver glasses, television screens in Accra, in Accra. We bring them here, then we recycle them. I have some ladies, they expose them, they wash them nicely, we dry them, we smudge them, we don't pound them like how we pound fufu, but we smudge them in the small, small particles so that at least we can get a clear glass in it. The glass blowing is very amazing and by using a Louvre's glass waste and some bottles, it's not all bottles that we use for the glass blowing. We use um, Louvre's glass, different colors and uh, Belacqua bottles. We use to do vases, uh, drinking glass and parish bowl, a lot of things. My plan is to do a glass blowing school here in Ghana because we don't have we don't have the art glass in, 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 in West Africa here or Ghana here. So my plan is to build uh, the auto, automatic glass blowing studio here in Ghana for the people of Ghana, universities, uh, SS students. We see Tete as contributing to environmental conservation, protecting life because these broken glasses can actually cause harm to people. He is also generating employment because he's employing people to work with. And the last time I spoke to him, he actually said he's trying to come up with a training um, school to train people to do more of this all over Ghana. I think this is a one in a million. I think government must support this initiative in establishing most of these workshops across the 16 regions and support this initiative.